In this video, we're going to focus on how we can change our color designs here on Hoover, where we have, for example, here an instant transition of color, but also we have a gradual transition of color. So let's start look at that. So let's start look how to make a gradient color on the vertical Hoover line in Chart.js 4. So we already have these lines here, and if you don't have this, make sure you watch this video here, follow the instructions. So then you are ready to go. Next. If you want to get the source code of this video and many other videos, check out my Patreon page here where you can support my channel and get access to many of my source codes. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down here and then basically here we have this default color and this default color here is set here for black. And as you can see here, this needs to be adjusted. So how do we adjust this item? Well, first of all, we can put it here up. And what we're going to do here is we're going to create a gradient effect. We're going to say a constant gradient line and this gradient line will be the ctx and i say create linear gradient and this linear gradient will have certain values we will have the x coordinate or basically the starting point this is the x coordinate starting point the y coordinate coordinate starting point and then we have here the x ending point and the y ending point in our case what I really want to focus on instead of having a horizontal or, or sorry, not a horizontal line, I want to have this vertical line, but I don't have to have any diagonal line or anything else. So that would mean that I will not focus on the X, which focus on the horizontal line, but I want to have the vertical line focus to have it here from top to bottom. That's the one I want. So what I want to do is I want to make sure that this starts at the very top and goes all the way down to the bottom of the chart area. So basically this to that. If you don't understand what I'm doing here, this is from the chart area here, but please watch my other videos for that. So now what I'm going to do here is going to assign the colors. So what I want to do is I want to start at the very top and the higher we go, the greener it gets. And if we go to the very bottom here, the lower we go, the more of the red color we get. So to do this, I'm going to say here, going to grab this constant and then we're going to assign the, the color say add color stop and basically here we have two specific variables the first one would indicate the starting point in pixels and this is based on whatever we indicate here since we only focus on the top and bottom or the vertical level that is zero would be then the very related to the very top here and this zero is a percentage value so then I'm going to say comma, and here we're going to put in a color. So the color could be red, blue, or anything you want. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to grab here a specific green color within my borders here. And the fourth value is a greenish color. So I will take that color and use that as my starting point. So the higher we go, the more green it becomes. That's what we want. Then what I want to do is I want to add up another one that the lower we go, the more of a red tone we will get. The red tone or the red color will be this one here. So I'm going to copy this, put it in here. But then of course here for the add color stop, this here will be one and one equals 100% or the very bottom in this case for that one. And zero is 0% 0 each the very top. So once we do this, what I want to do now is copy this and assign the stroke style line here with this new color. And if I Hoover over the item, you can see here it is red. And as we go up here, it becomes a bit of purplish because it changes the color gradually from one color to the other. And as you can see here, it becomes here green. So what we could do as well, these are other options. Maybe you want to say, well, halfway through, we want to be, make it green. Everything is a value of 50% or more should have a solid green color. All right, so let's start to do that. So we're going to change that. We can say here, instead of this value here, we can say here it will start at 0.5 already. If I save that, refresh, do this. You can see here now at 0.5, which is probably at some value of nine, you will see the color becomes green, but here between here, it's time to gradually transfer the color. Final item is maybe you want to have a solid or a instant transition of color. Or you can do that as well. So what I'm going to say here, I'm going to copy this. I'm going to put that here down. And what I will say here is from this till this, this will be a red color. And after that, the moment we hit halfway through, it will be instantly green. So we have here 0 0.5, we make this red. 
And what I'm going to do is just to make sure I will say as we go ahead to zero, it becomes green again. So save, refresh, and now if I hover over, you can see here we have now an instant jump or transition to a green color the moment we hit 50% of the value. And these are some of the options we can use for gradient color effects.